Today I'm going to give a demo on the ontology store. Okay, so the ontology store is a tool for ITB2 admin users to download ontologies from the cloud onto a local storage um, and install ontologies into the ITB2 databases. So the ontology store's uh, software has two components. One is the ITB2 web client, and the other one is the back end, which is the, the cell. So as you can see in this diagram, the cell, um, what it does is, is it downloads the ontology from the AWS cloud onto a local storage here. And then um, it can install the ontologies once it's downloaded onto the I2B2 uh, databases. So I'm gonna give a demo right now. Okay. Uh, since the ontology store is meant to be for admin users, so if you log in as a regular user, you will not be able to see the plugin in the analysis tool. So don't panic, it's, you actually have to log in as an admin so I'm going to do that. So once you log in as, as an admin, you will see it in the analysis tool right here. So here you can see the list of ontolo available ontologies from the cloud. So I'm going to go and This? Yeah, move that out of the way. Okay, so let's say I wanna install this, download this and install this. And I'm gonna execute it, it's gonna run. And there it is. And it tells you the, the summaries of all the ontologies that has been successfully downloaded and installed. And as you, if you notice, uh, once it's installed, it would show up uh, on the terms uh, panel. So uh, as a regular user, when you log out, log in as a regular user, you see these ontologies and the users can actually um, now use them and you know, run some queries. So let's say I do the mass index, whatever that is. So now I'm going to run it to get some counts. There it is. So the regular users, uh, like I said, again, yeah, won't see the tools, but they will see the ontologies once you install it. Um, okay. And uh, the, the tools also allow, um, let's see, two, two, B2. Admin to uh, disable certain ontologies um, in addition to installing it. So let's say you want to disable this one. You want a, a user to see it, you can execute this and it will be disabled. And so when the user sign in, let me do that with this one. The ontology will not show up. Um, and also, uh, like I said, you can download the, you can download the ontology first and then install it later by clicking install here and just run it and will, it will install the one you just downloaded. So you don't have to install right away. That's it. So that's one. Okay. So I'm gonna switch gear, talk about Sheriff. Okay. Um, let me see, what's the diagram? Okay. So Sheriff is a tool that um, allows you to create uh, computer, computable phenotypes using uh, ITB2 queries. And the phenotypes can be consist of multiple queries. And with this tool, you can also attach um, uh, documents uh, that supports these uh, uh, queries, the, the phenotypes. So, um, so, the, so the Sheriff tool has also, um, uh, two components. One is the ITB2 uh, plugin that you can use in ITB2 web client, and another one is the website, which you are seeing right now. 
And the reason why I'm showing you this website is it has this diagram and it, and it shows that the, both the client and the website communicate with the REST API here. So I'm gonna first show you the web client for share. get rid of this it's blocking okay let's get that out okay um where am i logging in one two okay so once you install the share plugin you can see it in your analysis tool here and you can see it, the list of um existing um public publicly available um phenotypes and so when you create um, a, pheno, um, a phenotype workbook, you can either make it public or private. So with a, with a public, anyone can see it. With a private, only you can see it. But once you, you have to log in using API key, and I'll show you how to get the API key uh, through the website. So with a plugin, you can view these uh, public um, uh, phenotypes. And with a book, 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 and you can see these documentations that you can attach to it. And when you click on this, it will take you that documentations for it. And and also has these queries that you can actually run. So I'm gonna run this to get the counts and you can go back. And you can also click on the detail tabs to see the concepts for these queries that you built. And you can see, so show more if it's too long. And also you can also export it as a JSON or a CSV file, or you can just copy it and paste into your um, notebook or whatever, notepad. So we have also the website, as I mentioned before. And the website ideally initially was meant for people who doesn't have um, IDB2 uh, web client or doesn't want to use web client, they can view uh, the workbook through this, through here too. And basically it's a, almost, it's the same functionality, but the only exceptions with the web client, I mean, with the website is that you can actually not run the queries. You actually have to use the ITP2 web client to run the queries to get the counts. But likewise, you, but also you can also view the, the details to get, you know, the uh, concepts. So if you're using the ITP2 uh, web client, you still need to access the web page to get the uh, API client. So you do that by creating an account and simply by just by logging in. And just like the current ITV2 is um, single sign-on. So I'm choosing University of Pittsburgh, logging in. Okay, so once I'm logged in, I can get the API key by click on profile and you can, you know, View it if you want to see it, launch you can hide and copy it. And then you go to the web client here. And you can add uh, your API key. So the reason why you need to add your API key because uh, all these workbooks are read only. You cannot, you know, there's, there's no option for editing or creating a new one. Um, so once you add, and also you cannot see uh, your own workbook. So I have two but one of them is private. So once I add this in, the API key, so now the application know it's me. So now I can see, um, I can see my um, uh, public and also I can see my private uh, workbook. And from here, I can modify it, edit uh, the, the, the workbook. And also with the with the web page, you can actually um, over here. Once you sign in, you can also uh, modify your workbook, and you can also add queries to it. But the way you add queries uh, with the workbook is that you have to um, you can view the queries. Let's say I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna copy this. And I'm gonna go back to my, and I'm gonna edit this and paste the edit query here. And you say add a control, 
And in a web, and if I, and I want to run this, I ha actually have to go to the web client and click on this. And you see, uh, where is it? I called on it correctly. Oh, I didn't save. Yeah, that's fine. I forgot to save. Always forget to save. Okay, so I think now if I run it, there, I can see it, and then I can run it in ITB2 and to, to get the counts. So that's it. <laughs>